It's the only way out. I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. Huh? I've got the Shriebman port. Brilliant. How did you manage that? I had a trade with the doctor. I hope he didn't rip you off. No comment. See you later. Never mind. It's a standard card slot. Come on, Joey. Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. I ought to move that trash. It's too heavy to carry. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh, yes. That's Mrs. Piermont. 
the richest woman in Union City and the ugliest. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here, preventing me from entering. Yes. Never mind. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont, but you can call me Danielle. How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? There's nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Ooh, how ghastly for you, my dear. What's the mutt's name? Well, really, he's not a mutt. His name is Spunky. He looks just like his owner. What do you mean by that? He's really cute and fluffy. Flattery will get you nowhere, young man. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived, and I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. Never mind. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? Mm, what about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence, for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is. Exclusive, but seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze. And the fact that it's off limits to security. See you later. Won't open. That's probably because it's locked. Excuse me. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. The door has an old-fashioned lock. Oh, come to mummy, Spunky. It's an old trick, but it still works. 
Oh, come to m the stairway has been bricked up. The stairway has been bricked up. It's an old map, but it means nothing to me. They're for cutting and pruning plants. Excuse me. Smart floral dust. What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them. They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. Hmm? I haven't done that for months. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. See you later. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower and stop Donta Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I'll play better. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. What do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Peebum, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. What other games have you got? Not many, because they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game, Onan the Barbarian, and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. Dandelions? What color are they? Yellow, of course. Everyone knows that. The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Excuse me. See you later. It's the call button for an apartment. Hello. Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. Welcome to my humble little home. I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. 
What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside when up came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to kill. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memory is a true painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. Are you going to sponsor me now? If that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Goulston? Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. It's another of those easy-to-program machines. None of the buttons do what you'd expect them to. It's full of biscuits and dog drool. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. That dog doesn't want to share his biscuits. Court closed. See Link for news of forthcoming attractions. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart, with the lights turned low, but in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. Excuse me. Hi. Mind if I join you? Well, hello yourself. They call me Babs. Pleased to meet you. Oh, don't count on it. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? Nice rose. Excuse me. Food you can drink all you want, but I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? Well, I'm not the cabaret. How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you. 
It's the house rules. Cost in it fire me if I gave you a drink. I'm gonna complain about you. Please yourself. I demand to see the manager. Please yourself. Are you gonna fetch him? I can't leave the bar. Is the manager here? He's around. The Hawk Club Quartet. But there's only three of them. Yeah, the saxophonist OD'd last month. Did the saxophonist OD on drugs? No. Too much sax. He got overexcited and ruptured his lungs. Hi. Mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? That's because you're a probation member. Don't blame Barry, he's only doing his job. The liquor laws have been tightened since last year's baby sham riots. Hey, get on with the game, Colston. All right, no need to get excited. I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. There are greasy fingerprints on the glass. Hey, get your hands off my drink, buster. Can you see I'm busy? I'll take your turn for you. And lose the game for me? You're gonna lose anyhow. Don't be so sure, Gallagher. I've got something up my sleeve. I knew you were cheating. Well, so are you. Hey, get your hands off my drink, buster. Hey, Lamb. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance. A special policy. See my friend Anchor. He'll help you out. Hey, Lamb. Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working, and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Cuscus -cus do? Who's Cuscus? -cus? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? You could always get another one. It wouldn't be the same. I've had Cuscus -cus since she was a kitten. I could feed her for you, if I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Cuscus -cus likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb. Confirmed. Fluctuation normal. See you later. Thank you.
What a fat cat! Hello, puss. Robots I can program, but not video machines. It's got more buttons than a maternity dress. It's a food dispenser. It's titled Pussies on Parade. Hello! Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob! None of the buttons do what you'd expect them to. It's another of those easy-to-program machines, which select the record time and channel at random. Those little kittens are so bright, unlike some pets. It's another of which so... Thank you.